What's going on, everybody? Coach Sperm, the Clever Investor, here with my partners, Brian Green and Elephant Garrett. House. What's up? Welcome to Green Elephant Development's latest renovation project. We are in Chandler, Arizona at 2883 East Tulsa Street. Um, this property we picked up uh, at the beginning of April for $310,000. It's a four bedroom, three bath, three car garage, two story home with a pool, and it needed everything. Um, so in this video, what we wanted to do, since I had the opportunity to grab my partners and have us all together, what we wanted to do is walk through this renovation project, show you the befores, show you some of the middle, show you the after, um, uh, and why this product, or this property is product. I guess it's kind of a product. It is a product. To us, it's a product. It is. We're just moving products around That's here. That's all we do. Um, uh, why this property sold as fast as it did and why, how we were able to push the comp and uh, create the profits that we're creating. So if you're interested in renovating like a boss, watch this video. guys um, we're about to dive into this project and walk you through the entire house show you the before and afters and talk about some of the biggest lessons that we learned but before we do I want to introduce you to Green Elephant Development right yeah. um, I, you know normally you hear me talking about clever investor but Green Elephant Development is uh, our renovation company and it is a cool business because it has a social purpose and an eco-friendly purpose and so when we sat down, Brian actually was spearheading this. He was like, man, I feel like a little bit of a, like a switch up or a career change. Would you call it a midlife crisis? Merch man turned flip man. Let's there, go. there you go. I like that. Um, at, but he sat, sat us down and he said, look, I want to, I want to do a renovation business, but I want to have fun. I want to do it with my friends and I wanted to, you know, help a really good cause. So when we sat down, we thought, what are we passionate about? Animal conservation. We love elephants. They have strength and yeah, wisdom. Elephants. Yeah, everybody loves elephants. Yeah. So we came up with the uh, name Green Elephant Development and for every project that we do, every house gets named after an elephant that's on an African conservation area. And uh, we kind of envision what that elephant is like and the color palettes and everything that Garrett ends up picking is kind of in that world. I guess. I don't know how you would explain elephant it. Elephant world. The elephant world. And uh, a portion of our profits go to help elephant conservation. All right. I did want to uh, just let you know that right below this video is going to be a free resource for you. Uh, if you want to learn how to do real estate investing um, and do it the right way, I got a free training video down below. It's going to show you how I actually started in this business and it's very simple to follow. I simplify everything. I don't make it complicated. Uh, so it's my gift to you. Go check that out. Now that you made it through that, let's okay. talk about this project. Yeah, let's get it. All right, we're standing inside the dining room area right after you walk in the front door. This room needed everything, all right? Literally, new flooring, new lighting, fixing the windows, new baseboards, new paint. Uh, we installed the nest. I mean, what didn't we do in this room? Everything, everything. We didn't replace the front door. We did, but we did patch it and fix it. Yeah, there was some, some fixes that needed yeah. to be on. When we first bought it, it was dark, it was dingy, there was coverings on all the windows. And so we never, when we bought it, we didn't actually go and open the old blinds because there was blinds everywhere, there was bushes, you know, blocking the outside view. So we never actually looked at the windows themselves. We just kind of glanced at what we could see and, oh, the windows are there, they're not cracked, fine, let's move on. But then once we started the demo process and we actually ripped down all the old blinds and stuff, we noticed that the windows had a, a major problem. Let me show you. So this is a double pane window, right? And I'm gonna show you over here so the sun's not blinding you. My eyes! Ah! The pain! But you see here, there's like a rubber sealant that goes around the entire window. Well. This is brand new. We, we actually replaced all the glass and stuff, but that rubber sealant over time starts drooping. And when it does that, it doesn't seal properly and it's, it's no longer a good window. Unfortunately, you can't, you know, open up the window, stuff that back in there and put the glass back on. It's, it's in between the dual pane. So it's a pain in the butt. Uh, and it was every single window in the entire house. So an unforeseen cost that we weren't expecting because we looked at the windows and did not build that into our budget ended up being a major deal for us that we had to address. 
All right, anything else in this room? That's it. I think this is good for this room. Oh, can lighting. We installed can lighting. This is a four inch can? Six inch can. This six is a six inch, inch can. can. Um, about 50, 50 bucks a piece. 50 bucks installed. installed per can light. So if you start, you know, walking around trying to estimate, oh, I'm going to put in six cans or whatever, you can start to figure out what that's going to cost. We put in like 16 cans in the house. In the whole house? Mm -hmm. So you should start doing that. There you go. All right, so 50 bucks a can light. We did do an accent wall. This is a cheap way to make a wall pop. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. a couple hundred bucks and it looks like a it's really, really killer design. It's really cheap. Just nail guns and wood and sanding paper. There you go. All right, so now you got a good design tip. Let's go to the next room. You ready? Let's go. All right. So as you can see, the kitchen turned out amazing. You guys did a phenomenal job on this one. This bad boy sold this house, in my opinion. I love what you guys did with it because this original kitchen, it was old, it was dark, it was ugly. Kind of like Garrett's first girlfriend. Woof. Just kidding, just kidding. All right, um, but you guys ripped out the original kitchen island, which was like a U-shaped island. It was really tall, uh, and you went with this oversized island. Why did you go with the large oversized island? I just figured uh, everyone likes kitchens and big islands right now, and uh, it's hot. Big is always better, and just that's you wanted to be able to create seating here. Seating was important. I wanted the kitchen to be the focal piece of this whole big room. Uh, the bigger the island, the better. And the other thing is we added 24 inch cabinets underneath for extra storage. So down here, there's under, actually under, more. under here, there's more cabinets. So oh, that's, that's a really good So that feature. brings out that, yeah. So you gotta like pots and stuff like that can go right Cause there's not a lot of storage in there, in here without that. So I think that's a great feature. I think one of the main things about this kitchen when, I, when we held an open house, and Spur, you can't buy for the open house, right? It was yeah. jamming, right? We hit it the first weekend. You rolled your Lambo up here. Everybody was like asking for free rides in the Lambo. I was like, just offers, write the offers first. Just then write rides. the offer. You get a ride. Offers first, then rides. But the storage was a big was a big selling point. The bronze oil bronze fixtures throughout with the light bright white cabinets, the extra 42 inch tall ones, that was huge. And then the farmer sink, Garrett killed it. We love farmer sinks. And Garrett, what, what did you say about the farmer sink and the cabinet? Uh, just making sure, one of the tip is making sure that when you do put a farm sink in that you get a farm sink cabinet. Um, you need about 10 inches of space and a lot of times people design cabinets and they don't have that 10 inch space so they can get that farm sink low enough. How much did this whole kitchen cost us? About 12000 Okay, so what you see right here is about 12000 That's lighting fixtures, all, all, everything you see, right? Appliances, yeah. It, appliances too. The appliances are about a thousand bucks. This is a really awesome backsplash. It's marble. A okay. Bucks. About a thousand bucks for this. A thousand bucks for all the appliances. When you start adding it up, this, these, this is a heavy cost of the remodel. And so one way that you can save money is to reuse any cabinets or things that you can actually just resurface. So um, we decided when we were walking around the property originally that we wanted the bigger upper cabinets. That's what you want. You want to draw the eye up and make them feel like there's lots of storage. And so we replaced these, we reused and resurfaced these, which yep. saved us some money. Yep. All right, so that's a good tip. Yeah, so all we had to do is paint them. Paint them, you paint just sand them down. Sand them, them, and then we change the door faces. We change the faces. And I like how, because Green Elf in development, we got the gray theme going on. We got the grays, we got the whites. Yeah. You know, it turned out great, it turned out amazing. And all this turned out great, you know, the speakers were already here, you know, we switched out the fan, added some can lighting. All right, so besides that, down here, there is one bedroom, we just basically, you know, new new fan, new lighting fixture, um, and some carpet, baseboards and paint, yep. right? And then we got the one bathroom down here. Uh, what does that little bathroom cost us to uh, remodel? About 1500 bucks. Okay, so if you're thinking about what a you know a nice looking bathroom remodel, anywhere between one to three thousand dollars, depending. One of the things that we did with these bathtubs, the save cost, is we just refinished the tubs instead of replacing the tubs. Okay. So there's a, a refinish company that we used out here. It cost us about 200, 200 bucks each tub. They came in and refinished it rather than ripping out a new tub and make it look better than new. Yep. I love it. All right, let's go upstairs to my second favorite room in the house. All right, so we're now upstairs. 
And uh, pretty much same story up here. We pretty much redid everything, new flooring, put car we decided to go carpet throughout because it's more affordable than using you know more tile upstairs. Uh, we were able to do the stairs and carpet. Um, we actually got this. This is used carpet. Used carpet. How does that work? Yeah, there was someone that bought a spec home and we talked to our uh, flooring person and they said they got a house that they're ripping out the carpet and would you like to buy this used carpet? And they said, how, how new? And they said, it's never been used. The lady bought the house and didn't want it. I said, we'll take it. How much? She goes, I'll sell you the carpet for 500 bucks. I said, deal. I'll take that deal. Yeah. All right. So this, yeah, this is the, this is the, the best bathroom ever. <laughs> Look, I mean, we did a lot in this bathroom. This bathroom, trans, I think it was a selling point too. Besides the kids crushed it in this bathroom. It was yeah. so 1990s. 90. 1990. I, really I feel like the bathroom is what made you want this house. You're like, oh. I was. Right. Soon I, you know what's funny? As soon as we walked in, yeah. I, would, I had the vision. Yeah. I go, boom, I know what I'm doing. I was like, like, I've never seen a dude get so top. excited about a bathroom. Yeah, I got excited on this one. This one was exciting. So we extended the shower out, we covered the window. Because there used to be three windows. Yeah, we covered the window, made the shower bigger. We because um, it used to have one of those built-in yeah, tubs, yeah, like yeah. the '90s styles built-in ugly tubs that, yeah. like, all you do is hang clothes on because yep. nobody actually uses them. <laughs> right now, it actually looks like an inviting tub. Yeah, we did like the the, the water spigot. We did a freestanding tub. Um, brought in a chandelier above the tub. Extended this over. Did the the same type of Wayne's coating as we had downstairs to kind of tie it together. Yeah. Um, subway tile. Subway tile, marble floor, glass shower door. That glass shower door runs about a thousand bucks. How did this whole sales process break down? Well, we had so much action going on the first weekend of the open house. What I like to do is when something comes fresh to market, I like to do a pre-listing on Zillow and Redfin for about 10 to 14 days before it goes to market, generate some buzz, let them know that, you know, we can have some private showings, we can, you know, have an open house coming up. Um, if they have a serious buyer, you know, get them ready to write their checkbook and get everything ready because this is going to move quickly. Um, so I like to do a little pre-marketing that way. And that way, when you get to the open house, you have um just a crowd of people the open house was stacked just people one after another after another we had something like four thousand views. views on awesome. zillow in the first like couple weeks check it out like still two weeks there. yeah still on there so check it out uh pretty cool to see that kind of activity it it was so cool that we decided that we're going to really farm this area really, really hard. And Brian actually found another deal literally down the street that uh, we're working on next. And so we just went, you know, did an inspection on it. And uh, we already have a buyer that came to look at this one that basically said, hey, if you make that house look like this house, I'll pre-buy it. Uh, I'll pre-write the offer and give you a non-refundable. Uh, and we probably have the least four to five other ones that say, if you have anything else the Green Elephant's working on, you know, let us know in Chandler, in Gilbert, that we're your buyer. So, you know, it's just one of those things where if you do quality work, you do quality work, you're gonna sell your product <laughs> before without it, without it staying on market long. And we all know Green that uh, every day counts as far as, you know, fix and flipping goes for carrying costs. There you go. So now you got a pretty in-depth lesson on uh, all the different things that we fixed, changed, you know, some lessons learned on this one, some different ways to reuse materials and cut costs. Uh, but at the end of the day, you really do want to do high caliber work in, a, in this particular price point. It sells the property quickly. We pushed the comp, we got it appraised, we, you know, got this whole entire deal um, closed out. We actually closed this coming Friday is why we're shooting this video right now because we only have a couple more days before we uh, are no longer allowed house. in this house. All the staging's got to go. <laughs> staging's got to go. Everything's yeah. done on this one, so this one's going to be a wrap. Yeah. Hopefully you learned something. So what you should do right now is smash that freaking like button to show the YouTube algorithm that this video is awesome. And, uh, you know, help a poor YouTuber.
do more cool things <laughs> on YouTube. And click the button down below uh, if you want to get into real estate investing and look at the 30 days to a deal challenge. It's uh, how I started in this business. It's a free training video. Click it, watch it, get engaged. Who knows, maybe you could be uh, you know, doing cool shit like this someday in the future for yourself. With your best friends. Absolutely. You could be, uh, I don't know, what's another cool name? Orange, orange blossom. Oh, what were we, what else were we gonna call ourselves? The red rhinos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was like. I got, I gotta go. I gotta go. Grasshoppers. Click the, click the button down below. Get engaged. I'll see you on the next one.